guys, Crew Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Shane. I'm Calvin. I'm Eric. And we're back with Death Note. The last Death we're Note. We're back with the last episode of Death Note. Last time on Death Note, I win. Well. Yes, that's exactly. what he said. <laughs> There's a whole thing going on. Yeah. And we don't know who's. Why? What? Prediction? No, read it. Can we read it? Yeah. Shit. Death. <laughs> 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 yeah, everyone is either gonna die or everyone's not gonna die. That's what's gonna happen right now. Right? Wait, wait what? Either everyone's gonna die or no one's gonna die. Yeah, everybody will die or nobody will die. And I don't know right. how Nier switched it. Yeah. We, I don't know. It has to be that Nier switched it. But I yeah. have no idea how Nier. Yeah. Did what if that? Light just wins? It what if he be. wins and now he just is. Maybe someone cut he wins, but then someone comes out of the shadows. Like, oh, now I know because this happened, and then someone else. I don't else. know. I don't right. think that Nier would sacrifice all of them because he'd have to be so sure that because Kira right. has all of the power in that situation because everyone else is dead. All he would have to do is tell uh, Megami, "He just oh, kill that guy now." You have to be so sure he's Megami. I mean, he has the the, the eyes. You can see everybody's real name. He sees their face. Yeah. It, it, it has to be a matter of they are dead or Somehow it's a book. the book yeah. can't be real. I know. Or they're just all dead. That's yeah. the only two options, right? Sure. I. Okay. Right? Yeah. I don't know what else it could be. I don't know. I mean, everybody else is gone and dead, right? I mean, yeah. so much stuff has happened in this yeah. series. I like this is the about. last one. I, I like yeah. the death. And Mello. Yeah. Mello just died. Mello's yeah. dead. Takata died. Yep. Yeah. Everybody's gone. The father's dead. Yeah. I love that guy. Yeah. All right, this L. There's ghosts everywhere. Yeah. Let's start. Last time for this song. <laughs> I was gonna be like, go get full length if you wanna hear a sad. Because <laughs> you can't get it out. 38. 39. Well, near. He changed the book. How? I don't know. It's been over a minute and we haven't died. <gasps> Didn't I already tell you all that no one was gonna die? Why would they die? God! I did everything you told me! Rester, Giovanni, take him now! <laughs> Everybody. I can confirm that the first four names are definitely the real names of the SBK members. The second four are the names of your team. The only name that hasn't been written down Light is Light Yagami. It's a trap! This whole thing is a setup! This is all part of Nier's plan to free me! Isn't it a little odd that no one died after having their name written in the notebook? This proves it's a trap! <sighs> Desperate. Mm-hmm. The only way you'd know. I don't know this guy! <laughs> Light, it's too late to deny it. You know Nier has won. Just a moment ago, you were saying it looks like I win. How much more of a confession do we need? He still got his watch. It does. Oh, I oh, messed it up. Stop it! Kira, it's over. You've lost the game. Just a moment ago, you proclaimed your victory, expecting us all to die. And to tell the truth, you might have actually won. We ended up doing exactly what you expected us to, and altered the fake notebook in Mikami's possession. However, when I said before that we had modified the notebook, I was in fact referring to the real notebook as well as the fake. <laughs> We only switched part of the fake notebook, but as for the real one, we replaced the entire thing. This notebook here is actually the real one. Giovanni was able to do it in a single night. Wow. Of course, since I had touched the real notebook before coming, I've been able to see the Shinigami as well. <sighs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Shinigami. Nice to meet you, too. My name is Ryuk. You can talk to Ryuk. I can see him, so that means it, it must be true. 
This was all thanks to Mallow. I believe if I explain this much, she'll begin to understand. <laughs> Takeda's name is in the notebook. I was the one who killed her, but her death was written there just one minute later. Good God! She told me you couldn't move freely. I had to make sure Takeda was taken care of. Was that my duty to you? You idiot! I've been trailing her. I knew we went to the bank every month on the 25th. Oh. So it was odd for someone so methodical to go to the bank twice in two days. I followed him to me to the bank as he headed for the same box. deposit box. That's how I knew where it was. Sure enough, okay. Takata's name had already been written inside it. I bet Mello knew in his heart that working by ourselves, neither of us would be able to attain our goal and surpass our mentor, L. Together, we can stand with L. Together, we can surpass L. And now, acting as one, we face the cube, defeat it out, and with solid evidence, beat him at his own game. Maybe he has a little watch. He, has, he does have his watch. I hope Misa just gets out of it. Yeah. Be innocent. I am Kira. I'm not only Kira, but I am also God of the New World. The only hope for mankind. <laughs> Kill me? Is that really the right thing to do? When I first got that notebook all those years ago, I knew I had to do it. No, I was the only one who could. Who else could have done it and come this far? Would they have kept going? Huh. But what's your plan? No, you're just a murderer like Yagami. In the end, you're nothing more than a crazy serial killer. That's all you are. Aizawa has to feel like... Fucking knew it. Vindicated. Yeah. You can't write all their names. No. Near. Are they both real? What is he up to? Is he bluffing? At the moment, only I know where the real notebook is. I guess you're gonna have to write down either my name or Mikami's. It's the only way to see if it's real. Or fake! He's in the piece of the notebook! Masuda. Masuda, man. Good job. Masuda, you idiot! Who the hell do you think you're shooting at? What was it all for, then? What about your dad? What the hell did he die for? My dad. You want a world where people like that are made to be fools? I know you understand, so kill the others! Shoot them! You led your own father to his death. And now he's gone, you call him a fool? I mean, you just don't let him go. Yeah. What's the... What's the point of not catching him? It was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. We've been following this guy for a while. Huh. Oh, yeah. What? 
was him. Oh well, yeah. You mean the flashback? Yeah. I mean, he just ran past him. Past where he was back then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Rick's still enjoying it. Well, Light, it looks like you've lost. Hmm. Remember how, in the beginning, when we first met, I told you that I'd be the one writing your name in my notebook? If they put you in prison, who knows when you die? And I don't want to lie around waiting. It was good while it lasted. We eased each other's boredom for quite a while. Well, Light, it's been interesting. Huh. So quiet. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. <sighs> Misa. Funeral? She's mm -hmm. dressed like in black and weird. Right She's outfit. worn that before. She was, was she going to be she apprehended? Or? Oh, oh wow. shit, that's it? What? She doesn't even get anything. Like, no, she's not going to understand. Oh, she's scared. just admiring the view. She's not. Not on the outside of the railing. Oh, L. L, he's... Is he smiling? I'm depressed. Yeah. I, I, I get the feeling that Misa killed herself. I kind of do too. I don't want. I want. Oh, she I'm going to look it up and see what they have to say. <laughs> she, just, she was there. She didn't know what to do. She left and went back and lived some kind of life yeah. without light, who just took advantage of her anyway. Yeah. That's what happened. I don't know. I, I feel like she loved him so much. I'm telling you, it ruined his ending for me. <laughs> I'm just kind of depressed. I don't know. It's weird. Like, like every hero I heard about, I cared, I cared about died, and the villain I didn't really care about died. I'm just left with nothing. <laughs> but it was a good, it was an intense watch. And definitely a good performance by the voice actor who played Catcher Baba Winter on Gun the Wing. Oh, I, yeah. I heard him on different, different uh, Japanese, uh, an, I mean, I heard him in different animes. He was great. That was like yeah. the best I've heard him. The, I mean, the way he was him, freaking out. The way he broke was, yeah, yeah that was pretty crazy. It was never seen it wasn't comfortable like to that. watch. It was not. No. It was like seeing. And a, I'm left with nothing. A good friend. <laughs> like. Resistant intervention. Yeah, it's weird because it's a he couldn't. Yeah, he couldn't. like Nier said it. He's a serial killer. He's been murdering yeah. all these people. He's not necessarily a good guy, but like, I feel sad seeing him die. But I also feel like I should be happy that they got him. You know yeah, what I mean? I mean yeah. it's a weird. In his own twisted internal logic, he's the he's the hero of the story, and yeah. he is the hero of the story that dies at the end. You know, this isn't a happy story. Like, you know. It's, this world isn't, you know, all worlds are good or bad or heroes and villains, but in his mind, which is the only thing we can really relate to, to him, yeah. he was doing the right thing, and he fucked up. I guess uh, Mikami. Even still, yeah, he didn't up. fuck up. It was Mikami. Yeah. yeah. Mikami went and went off book by himself <laughs> instead the, of not doing stuff like yeah. he was supposed to. Because I was like, how in the hell would they ever be able to find where the real notebook That's what was? I thought, too. Yeah. But we just didn't know that he'd gone and done that. Thus, they found it. What? Okay. Yeah. So he heard about Takada. He knew there was something with Takada. He didn't want her to leak. So he went. So he went to make sure she died. But he, Light was already making sure she died. Light already took care of it. So he, especially his methodical uh, schedule, like he went out of his schedule. They're yeah. going to notice that. Which yeah. we did know about that before. And we knew that he took regular trips to the bank before, but we mm -hmm. didn't know what day it was that he left the office unexpectedly mm -hmm. then. Uh, okay. So well. it was it was new and previously known information. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I actually like that it was Matsuda who shot was well just not a shot but was most affected by it yeah because he, he's always believed light was the, yeah. was yeah. not kira and he was always like his friend or wanting to be his friend and you know he liked light's sister and his sister yeah. was in trouble because of kira and the father you know yeah. he was so ingrained so close and so like, trusting and i feel like his dad dying like light's dad dying hit um yeah him more than it did his son i agree 
I mean, I think it hit him all because they all kind of. Yeah. Were, but him especially in terms in terms of maturity, he's like a, a, he's a lot of mature kid. Him. You yeah. know, not a kid, but he's younger, and yeah. he probably like saw light as both a peer and a brother, an and a brother and a superior too. Yeah. Someone to look up to and be like a role model, like you know, you're always getting all the girls and stuff like that. You know. Yeah. So I, I like that it was him. I I almost I expected it to be Aizawa, but it wasn't. Aizawa kind of like. He's fucking right, and he, you know, he they solved the case. Yeah, and they wouldn't have without him. You know. Yeah. Well, uh, also Mello. Mello, like yeah. of Mikami wouldn't have done what he did if it wasn't yeah. for Mello doing what he did. Yeah. Sure. Mello, yeah. So I mean, he really helped. He, yeah, yeah he knew he was to he was gonna it. die. I like them saying, like, in order for us to know, we need a name written in the notebook. And he's like, well, I can get my name written in the notebook. Yeah. And he went and kidnapped Takada. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially considering he's done this. It's, this has been going on for six years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's weird that Al's been dead for so long, and he's been out of the show for so long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like halfway. I mean, you know, I I, I, th- yeah. I don't know about, I won't speak for all of us, but I think I enjoyed L more, like, when that, that when that stuff was happening. Me too. I, the, like, the later half. But this later stuff was still really good. Yeah, it was. It just wasn't it's, like, I wasn't, at, it wasn't as good for me as the first stuff. Yeah. I it's feel like, well, they had this rivalry, and yeah. then he was unrivaled throughout the whole series until yeah. the very end when you found out they had a plan. Sure. I feel like the the performance of everything and, like, the interactions were better in the first half, but the overall story and events that were happening mm-hmm. were way crazier in this one than the in the first one. The scale was bigger. Yeah, yeah, the scale was bigger. Definitely. Like well, it's like the final and, season of yeah. like the show you're watching, and then like they go all out. You know, virus has been unleashed, and yeah, and yeah. You know what's interesting? This this is not an action-packed show. No, like they have to go to great deals. Like in this in this episode, like they were just talking, but it's like whoa, huge dramatic turns and run, you know, that kind of thing. If you really like one paper, if you like. If you look at this show, it's really just people standing like, in rooms talking. As storyboards? Yeah. There's yeah. not a whole lot of, like, stuff to watch. That's why, like, you know... That's why the voice acting is so incredible. Well, it's that, but, you know, whenever we had L, and he's constantly finding new ways to eat sugar, yeah. and it's always very interesting things to look at, because really, you're just listening to three or four paragraphs of yeah. someone talking. Yeah, dialogue. <laughs> you know? yeah. I mean, yeah. The most crazy moments we had would have been, like... Them chasing the Yatsuba guy yeah. and shooting him. Yeah. It would have been the, the like missile launch. The helicopter the, the and the money. Had been, mm-hmm. Yeah, when the sister had been kidnapped. Yeah. Or the, the mellow, uh, yeah. them apprehending. But uh, it, was a very, it was a very beautiful show just in terms of like in how old it is versus the, how great it looks. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know? I like that. You know, I, I kind of, ex- I thought we were going to go into more Shinigami stuff than just Kira still. Yeah, we didn't get a whole lot. Like, I thought we were going to get maybe into that one that has, like, the jewels in its skull. Yeah, there was the one that came here when Mello yeah. had it and stuff. And Wasn't there a story of an old man? Well, the old man like, was the, old man the, the, the guy that makes, makes them. The yeah. things. But we I, didn't get a I kind of, of expected that. to get into yeah, that. Yeah, I wonder if there's any, like, com- like, spinoffs or comics or anything like that. I'm sure there well, are. We can definitely probably read our death note now. Yeah, it was definitely <laughs> interesting, too. They had one more thing in here about, like, uh, all humans die eventually. Yeah. But then it also is like, and when they die, they go to nothingness. And it's like, yeah. oh, well. So, okay. Is, is, is he going to write the name of everyone who used a death, boat, death note? No. No, Just he only said one. the first one. Okay. But what happens to the death note now? What do they do well, with he, that? He takes it back. Well, he can take it back now. Is that in anybody's possession? Or, possessions? since he still has two, you know, he could drop it again and let someone else entertain him for a while. If he's so bored. Maybe he's had his fill of entertainment and he goes back to the the Shinigami world. Well, because Aizawa should have had the one, right? Mm-hmm. Like, attached to him. And yeah, I think that was Rems. Mir would have had the other one that he was holding on to. Uh, Rems was the one that was the fate one, right? Because Rem does, has that weird language on it. Light's original one had Death Note on it. And then there's yeah. another one that I think is just... I don't know. I can't remember what the third one looks like. I know Rim had the one that kind of looked like, like, I don't know what kind of language it was, but it, was, it, was, it didn't say death note in English. No. Man, I just, you fucking... You I, just... I wouldn't have put it in a safety deposit box. I don't know. I mean, I, I granted, like, no matter where he put it, they would have found it. Yeah. You know? 
but yeah. I can think of a lot of other places I can, I can hide something more securely than a safety deposit box. I don't know, but if you have it anywhere in your home, then... I wouldn't, you, it wouldn't be in my you home. You know it's going to get bugged and yeah. camered and out the wazoo, so you can't keep anything there. You can't keep anything anywhere less suspicious that's going to be like, wait, he goes there, like, every week at the same time. Yeah. Man, so, if, if Mickey Me just wouldn't have done that one thing, yeah, then everything Light thought would have happened would have happened. But that what confirmed that the other notebook was fake for them. Is yeah. that they knew that he had another notebook hidden in there. And they had Takada's name written in that. Mickey Me Man. He was loyal to a I, Now I keep thinking about that podcast question. If you had like half an hour to hide a million dollars, where would you hide it? Yeah. I keep thinking, where would I hide the fucking notebook if I had just a little bit of time to hide it? I can put it under a pizza delivery truck. And every time I need to write something down, I just order pizza. <laughs> it comes. <laughs> in the trash yeah but then you need to crawl under the pizza delivery truck every time I get you to do that it wasn't comfortable yeah sure there, wasn't. Were, there was speed bumps yeah. <laughs> I mean just, you, honestly like a library might be kind of cool like, yeah. a, a, like a place yeah, but in a library librarians go through that shit like yeah. a lot easier a lot more efficiently that's all they did like my, my aunt Diane worked and retired from the library yeah. From, you know, the Washington... Libraries yeah. still have encyclopedias, right? They do. I would cut one of those up, put it in the, put the death note in that, and put it in there, because who uses an encyclopedia nowadays when you can just look right. it up on, online? I don't know. A lot there's of people c- there's certain us. references to old books and stuff that aren't on the internet. Everything on the internet. Not every single piece of information is. A lot of stuff has been forgotten and just never bothered so to it be w- recorded. So they wouldn't the be in the, it wouldn't be in the encyclopedia. I would say that's anything forgotten. that's in yeah. the encyclopedia that's still... Relevant is would be on the internet, internet. right? I, 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 yeah, I just I, I can't imagine people using encyclopedias that much anymore. They no. would just Google what they're looking for. Well, I feel like putting easier, it in the encyclopedia it's not would be complete. safe. Mm-hmm. I mean, what? It might be. So you can find I mean, more complete information in the encyclopedia than you can in, online. No, <laughs> but I'll tell you what. Like my kids, like for their class, like that they teach them how to go to libraries too and how to look everything up the encyclopedia. So they yeah. all still have to do that. So until the, I know the middle school, they make them all do it on the internet. But yeah, right now they have to look in books. So give a middle they do school it. kid visions of the Shinigami. A shitty idea. idea. I'm just saying. No, they the make them. Where, do where it. the hell would I put that death note? I mean, library is kind of a good idea. I mean, you, you know, fucking like dictionary. Huh? Anybody using the dictionary? Dictionary, the source, encyclopedia. No one's using. Maybe it. not a library. But maybe something like uh, like public records or something. Something that's because library generally like an old people are looking old court stuff. case. Yeah, a cold case has been cold well, you for can, twenty years. Yeah, you can do like you can go to the no, courthouse. I don't do and, that because like I'm just saying it's not really meticulously cared for, or people are looking this browsing through it all the time. You know? Yeah. You're like, oh wait, I want I need to look up this case. Yeah. And they go and look. Like you could hide it in like fucking maps of farms, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that no one ever gets out really. And then they do get out, they might not even notice what and see what they're looking at. You know? Mm-hmm. Or you could you could even hide it in like the like a false bottom of a library book or something. You know? I mean, I would, I don't know, maybe put it in, like, an airtight vault and throw it in my parents' septic tank. Septic tank? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah but you need to also be able to have it, like, Easy accessible access. so that you can use it. Yeah, every week. I'll take a million dollars. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I this whole time, I mean, you're I thinking always, about putting, putting you a million dollars inside of, like, of like, the stars. You know, I can put it in <laughs> some kind of, yeah. like, you know, weatherproof box and stick it under the... Uh, you know, the place where we did Rivals is right out here behind the building, that little underpass. There's a lot of places up in there that you can, like, put shit in, yeah. you know? And they're all numbers, so you know exactly where to go. No one's going to look up there, ever. Unless they tore it down, which I guess would be fucked. <laughs> but it's been there for years. I might count on it for being there for years, a couple more years at least. So that's what I'd probably do. Not that I have anything there. Giovanni, that motherfucker, altered both notebooks. In a night. I'll t- touch it! Remember when he did that? He was like, uh, Me and seeing that fucking Shinigami the first time, that's a frightening thing. It yeah. is frightening. Yeah. I think the other ones are scarier though than Ryuk. Ryuk wasn't in it a whole lot at the end. No, no it like wasn't. Last, like, like, once you went time? to jail, pretty yeah. much, you didn't yeah. have a lot of Ryuk. Mm-mm. You had more, like, you had some Rim. You had yeah. more Rim. And then yeah. Rim died. And then you just had Ryuk here and there. Like, Light formulated his plan by, like, episode two. He was Kira already, you know? Yeah. Like, all this happened really quick, and then all of this was kind of like, you know... I mean, the ramp up to L was pretty great, and then this kind of, like, went to get... Uh, I think, you know, took a little bit to get up to it, too. 
And honestly, I feel like the ending what the ending didn't really hit me as hard as it might be could have. I was more of like just like ah shit. Oh, that sucks. Is he gonna die? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, she's going. He's fucking. He's on the stairs. Oh, shit. What's? Oh, I feel shit. like I feel like the main like I don't know letdown would be that we've always seen L have a way out. Like. Yeah. Or yeah, light L. I, I guess that's hero. what I feel. I feel like well, how's he gonna that get was out? his how's way out. How's he gonna get out of this? And then he doesn't. Oh well, I guess he didn't his get out of that way one. Out, his way out was Mika me. And yeah. Mika me fucked up. Yep. He put his trust. Ironically, he put his trust in there, and then his trust was broken. We realized that his god could bleed. Yeah. And he killed himself with a pin. And by the way, never hit a pin right here because it'll spray like a fire hydrant. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> that was classic Japanese. How do you get through? He fucking huh? stabbed him, man. I mean, he, he literally just put it there, and he just fucking pushed. Yep. You that bothered by it? It's a pen. <laughs> that is a like it. And your chest! <laughs> I would love it. <laughs> Takes a two-inch blade. The guy on to... Torchwood got it worse. Two-inch blade to kill somebody. All right, good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I actually like the ending. Like, I like the like the claustrophobic, yeah. uh, non-epic scale of it. Just, sure. just people in a room talking, and him... <laughs> Nothing epic about it. He's just running, desperate, and, yeah. dies, and he dies. It, it was and kind Ryu, of and like, Ryu kills him. I like it. It's pretty. No, no, I get you. I'm not. I'm not saying it was bad. I'm saying, like, when I say it didn't hit me, I mean, like, it almost was like a natural conclusion. It's like, and then this, and then this, and then this. Like, it wasn't a shock. I, I wasn't like emotional or like. Oh, I was just what's gonna happen bothered. Next? I was like, Ugh. I was definitely it was, emotional. It, it was. It, for me, it was more of like, and then the end, which wasn't bad. Yeah, I, you know, hey, I agree. Ryu writing his name is great. It has good visuals too, with like the yeah. sun setting on yeah. him and stuff, yeah. and you see the flashbacks to himself. It just—it's not gonna be as epic as all the ways he gets out of trouble. Yeah. He just gets caught, and then the, honestly, the way Corner. he got caught was just the guy fucked up, which isn't as cool as you know, near doing something crazy. Yeah, I liked that. I liked it. I mean, no one is really as smart sure. as as uh, as as Kira, mm -hmm. and he, that guy just fucked up. So yeah. I liked it. I, I, kinda, I do want to know more about uh, the Shinigami. Yeah, me too. Man, a few episodes back we were like, Mikami are so fucking good. He's a guy he needs. That's the he thing, does man. everything right for him. The contrast between like yeah. how fucking cool he is with delete, delete, delete. <laughs> you know that versus the guy going like. Look when they're, at when they're scared, they're so ugly. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That reminds me of the troll face. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Like the, like the yeah. troll face thing, with like yeah, that weird the white kind of face thing. Yeah. yeah, it reminds you of that when they do that sometimes. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, nothing. I don't know what Calvin meant whenever he was like, "Oh, it's him." I'm like, yeah. Like it was like you had a realization, but it was. No, he just. I didn't get what you were. He walked you know. by himself, kind of pretty yeah. much, right? It's yeah. like, it it's was like him like, seeing it was like himself. The, the, I thought Calvin was like, "There's two of them." I didn't no, know. I didn't know what he was like. No, you, oh, like, you, you could see the flashbacks and stuff like yeah. that. But he, he was literally walking the opposite direction on the same road that yeah. he first decided to become Kira. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So okay. he was, was running like past Kira walking this way, Dude. and then Kira walking this way, and this is the beginning and this is the end. Yeah. It would be some so shit if it, it was... turned out there were two of them. <laughs> this whole time. And we didn't know. Holy shit. Like he found his twin brother. It was Christian Bale. And that's, yeah. who, that's who got killed. <laughs> yeah. And you guys got, I mean, you know. I, I guess just, you know, Death Note in general. What'd you guys think? This is a poll show that our uh, viewers chose for us to watch. I really enjoyed it. I liked it. I thought it was really good. It, it, for me, it had a... It, yeah. It's like a different kind of enjoyment that I have for, like, other shows, like for Full Metal or for uh, My Hero or something. Yeah. It was almost kind of like... It was low-key, but then it, it was had... high investment. And it, and it was very tense. Yeah. It was never, like... In your face, like this is the coolest shit you've ever seen. It wasn't but like Rolo versus Ragnar yeah. beating each other to death. Yeah, both, like you know, it wasn't like it a testosterone fueled, you know, thing. But it was, but it was like these two. It was a battle of intellects. Yeah, it was magic. a lot more intellectually yeah. engaging yeah. for me. I mean, like like Full Metal, obviously, it's this sure. epic feeling, and there's all this lore and all this history, yeah. and this it felt like that was it was so much smaller in that way. Yeah, but yeah. it had big uh, implications. You know what I mean? Like, the first half with L puts it, like, in the top three animes that I've watched. Sure. And out of all three of the animes that I've watched, 
Um, <laughs> yeah. say, and, 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 and I'm all for you watched, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. But no, it, 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 I, I like the beginning with Elle and everything. Elle's an awesome character. He's very weird. Yeah. And it, it just added some unique stuff. Kind of reminds me of Rick stuff. Like when I first met him. Yeah, I can see that <laughs> I can a little bit. See that. I like how um, unique all of the individual characters are in this. Yeah. Like, right. they all have very different, like, morality, like, lines. And all different... <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Right. And they all have very different like drives and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I get you. Ow, what? He did it. You did it too. I didn't do nothing. I was cracking my neck. Bullshit. No, I get you, Calvin. No. I mean, near and mellow, they weren't my favorite. If only because it seems like they were two halves of a whole. Was yeah. Already lost, you know. Yeah. They called Elder Mentor. They did. Which I was like, well, that's interesting because I thought it was more of like, here are students that we have at this thing. Yeah. And we're teaching L was one of these near and mellow yeah. or other ones. I thought that they were just like Maybe they not adopt. as trained as L, but they, yeah. the way they talked was like L taught them how sure. to be. I kind of thought maybe they adopted him as a mentor figure. Maybe too. Um, I mean, he seemed to be like a graduate of the program they were in, right? About. Which was the orphan, <laughs> the orphan house. Yeah, they were in like, the orphan house there. Water, wateries. When it, when it came yeah. to uh, N, um, near. I guess one thing I think about is just. I guess when I see, uh, lots of times it happens to be Japanese anime when you, see, you have this really intimidating figure who is like a little boy or a little girl. And, yeah. And I'm not going to go as far as you say, like when they wield a big weapon, because sometimes it's awesome. Yeah. But when you have something like that and then you have these these grown men in high places answering to them. Yeah. I kind of had to roll my eyes and just accept it. Sure. And, no, and, and, I, I and, in this case, and in this case, I, I liked it. Sometimes yeah. I don't and I noticed it. But like, L, like, L worked better. But like, L, have, L worked real well. But when you have Nier, who's like... Like, who's the fuck this age? little kid? They're not I mean, going to listen to him. He's a brazen lane developed. His frontal lobe is the only developed. Yeah, they yeah. all these things, you know? And I know we kind of... With Nier, I, mean, I felt... Even more so... Go ahead, Calvin, you're talking. I mean, some kids are more developed than some adults. Yeah. Like, prodigy kids and stuff like that. Their, their level of reasoning is beyond what adults... They might know, but they're, they're, not, they're probably not more developed. I, I mean, me. mentally they are. Maybe not physically... But, I mean, prodigies are prodigies for a reason. Their brains work in a way that, like, people just can't, like, comprehend. Sure, which is why, I mean, they were recruited for that. Yeah. That, yeah. that thing. And I, and I get that. But, I mean, it's also kind of like a, an anime trip, too, you mm -hmm. know? And it's, yeah. there's, like, a part of you that has to kind of, like, just accept it. Yeah. And, you know, that like Zone of the Enders, whenever you're a little kid, you have a yeah. little spaceship, and now you're staying in the Or, like, I love Gundam. Okay, I love yeah. it. And they always have these... 12, 13, 14, 15 year old pilots who are trained from birth to be assassins and are fighting these, these you know, like, <laughs> yeah. 50, like a thousand other dudes. And of, course, and of course, like the rival is another guy who trained from birth and he's like 17, 18, fighting, leading the army of all these 40, 30, 40 year olds, you yeah. know? Yeah, they're prime people. And it's just, yeah. yeah, I love it though. But I mean, it's I, something I have to accept. Yeah. I, I think less so with L, but more so with Nier. I feel like sometimes we skipped over some, some shit with him. Like, like how he found Mikami, you know? Like, I know it's like, well, he he looked over 7,000 CDs, you know, looking at every single person in the background and every screen for months, you know? Yeah. It's like he was essential. And, he, but and he, he got the right one, you know? I, I didn't feel like we slightly, we earned how essential he was to... Sure, I'm just saying, like, that happened in, like, two minutes in the show. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, oh, shit. It's like we didn't earn it, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, so there's a couple parts where I'm just like... That's that seems convenient, even though it's not. They act, he actually does the work to get to it. Yeah. I just don't see it, and I, sometimes I, you know, when I'm trying to think about it in my head. And Grant, we're watching this for the first time. And it's going down pretty quick, and sometimes you miss stuff. And I'm just like, I don't know how he got from A to B. Sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. um, or you know, because in some shows you can kind of just grant. Oh, okay, they got that somehow. I don't know how, but a show like this it challenges you to keep up, <laughs> and like you need to figure out. Like you need you're kind of like right with them as they're figuring this stuff out. And L, like, there were things where I'm like, I don't see how he got that. And then later I'm like, oh, okay, that's how he got it. That makes sense. You know, like, why he uh, discovered that Misa was the second Kira. Like, I didn't get that the first time watching, but watching it again, I'm like, oh, okay, that, that makes sense. I still, I don't really feel that way with N and a lot of his stuff. But uh, maybe I should rewatch it too, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But we'll see. I can't think of too many moments where, like, N was just jumping to conclusions in my mm -hmm. book. But I mean, I mean, the only thing is, yeah, I mean, the Mikami thing is just, we don't see the time passing that he's spending yeah. doing it. He goes from, I don't know who it could be, to sure. like, this seems like a very likely suspect. Yeah. And then he ends up being right. Mm -hmm. It's just he chose the right suspect. 
and we only we only see the times that he succeeds. We don't see the times that he fails and, and yeah. puts the one guy on reconnaissance or you know stakeout, watching other people, and they don't turn out to be the the right guy. Yeah, maybe his first suspect though is just right. So he's like, this person is at out of a thousand cure rallies, this guy's at nine hundred and ninety nine of them. Right. Let's check this guy out first. Yeah. And you check that guy out first, and you're right because he's a very very loyal cure of fanboy. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And there was this stuff where it's like Mika Me just did the exact right thing that light that worked out for light, you know? Oh, if he was but, at nine hundred and ninety nine cure, yeah, I guess so. He probably it's knows just, exactly what he wants. Yeah, he just happened to What's in his the best stars interest? aligned and then they didn't. He just happened <laughs> to have enough of a like what, what, what do I want to say? Like the personalities were close enough or their their thought processes were close enough that they both agreed Yeah. Well we need to kill off this guy who's causing problems or we need to elect a new person to be the spokesperson yeah. now because of whatever, so. How'd they get into the safety deposit box? Police. I mean, either police or I'm sure he's highly skilled he can just break in. Do they not have to inform you? When, like, police, hey, police got into your deposit box. I mean, if you broke in, no. If they have a gag order, then no. Hmm. I mean, he broke into his locker. He could have yeah, broken no. into I could accept that. <laughs> safety deposit box. I mean, he could have went in, like, I'm going to look at my safety deposit box and they go in or I'm going yeah. to put stuff in my safety deposit box and then they go in, They've Nier's already looked up what one he sure. has, and they go in. And I wonder it. if it was, a, like, you know, like, he, he didn't, like, like, Light had his, like, uh, tape thing. Like, he knew if something was in his room or not, you know? Yeah. I mean, you figure out Mika and me might have had, like, I know somebody touch or open my safety deposit box when, last time I was here, mm-hmm. you know? But it didn't happen. Yeah, Light was very... But to be fair, he, maybe he didn't. He just didn't think about it, because he was in such a rush to kill, to kill yeah. her. Light was just very methodical and... Although size and stuff, where see, I don't know if Mika Me necessarily was yeah. that every time. Mm-hmm. I mean, he had a very strict schedule, but like the moments when he was like had toothpicks and stuff to hold it and would catch it all on fire if they yeah. caught him or anything. Or but that was Kira. So that's what. Yeah. That's yeah, what. But the other Mika thing Mika is, should have had that on the deposit box. Like, put this pencil up, pull it out. Sure. If not, then it's gone, and you know it's gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then Mika Me would have never shown up. Without a death note, and there wouldn't have been that problem. They'd been like, "So what's your plan here, Nier? Mm-hmm. We got nothing." Because he was relying on them to write a name. Yeah. And there's no light written. Yeah. That's what he needed. Dang. He needed a trap, just like Light had, ep- episode five. Yeah. <laughs> By episode five, he was like, "Here's this. Okay, we're safe. Write it. Put it in a bag of potato chips." <laughs> I forgot about that trap in this drawer. Yeah. 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 With, that, with a pencil, you know, that was it. And then he had another, like, two things on his door. Where it's like he had a toothpick, and if it fall, if, if it had fallen off, he mm-hmm. knew. And simpler then, wasn't it? Well, he put the he put the obvious trap as the toothpick, something that would fall and they would see it on the ground. But he also put like hairs and shit on there. Like if they fell on the ground, you'd never know that that was the hair that was on the door. Mm. Yeah. I don't make me didn't have that. No, that's what he needed. Yeah. But they should. He should told talk, talk to, to tell him to make a trap. Yeah. Um, favorite characters from Death Note. I certainly loved Ryuk. Yeah, Ryuk was, was Ryuk pretty was, badass. Even that other Shinigami, not Rim, but the one that was like, ah, yeah, that, he my bad. that guy was funny. Oh. He was funny. But in, just in terms of like the character characters, L probably for me. L was pretty great. I also think that uh, I like Chief Yagami is my Chief favorite. Yagami's cool. I like, I like Chief Yagami. Yeah, I like Misa. Misa's funny. Misa, yeah. yeah, Misa's cool, man. She's loyal. Yeah. Yeah. She, she was. She's loyal. But just she, she, she was just looking. She yeah, was, she was looking. And then Aizawa and Masuda, they, those guys were like the ones that were like the most prominent of yeah. the crew. Like there, there was a couple other guys, I can't remember Dude, their names. The moment when Aizawa was there at the highway, yeah. like, uh, waiting. Yeah, that was yeah. really great. That was sweet. Like, yeah. you, you have your helmet. Of course I do. They have the helmets they can't see. Yeah. Their faces. Yeah, Yagami when he drove that bus into yeah. the building. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Was after, he, after his heart attack. Yeah, yeah. immediately after. Right? He, was, he was pretty great. And that whole, like, you know. That fake out he had, but he was gonna kill them both. Yeah, like that takes some determination, you know. Mm-hmm. But he died knowing. It just feels knowing like, that, his like son. A, it feels like that was such a different show than sure. the second half. The the fiance of the FBI dude, like yeah. that chick. Yeah, like yeah. she was pretty cool too. Did she the one who hung herself? Yeah, the one mm-hmm. he made kill herself. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that was so. cool. And, but she that, was that's so when close. I pretty much turned against him, kind of in my head. Yeah. Because up at that point, I was like, well, you're a bad guy, but I could rationalize with you. You know what I mean? Like, with Dexter, I can, I can watch him, I can rationalize, I can, you know, with him, he started doing that stuff, I was like, no. Yeah. When, yeah, when he killed the FBI agents, 
I, I, I like definitely I jumped off that train. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he had to kill all of them to cover himself because you couldn't have just one die. I know, but that's that was the thing that made me jump off. It's like, okay, I, I, I can get where you're going here, but, you know, because you are justice, now they're threatening justice, thus they must die. I'm like, I don't follow you that one. I understand why I did it, but I got to jump off that, that ship. I just, I liked Misa so much, and I just hated, like, how he treated her. Yeah. yeah. I hate how he treated everybody. How she's he like uses, the Torvi. He, 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 he of Death Note. Right. She's the Torvi yeah. of Death Note. Well, how he used his dad, too. His dad, I mean, his dad died believing. No, I'm sorry, not believing. Knowing he his was son not was Kira. not Kira. Yeah. Yeah. And his dad you know? went out the right way, you know? It's a like, like, I mean, I slightly kind of, you know, because Kira was such a worldwide influence on everything. Crime. You know, wars. Like, what happens when people find out that Kira is dead? Do they ever? You know, does... Like, obviously, they're going to want credit for catching him, right? They're, like, Light is going to be seen as him. Like, what's the effect? Does, the, does people do people still worship? Do they worship Light Yagami now? Like, what happens to their mom and the sister? Like, are they hounded for life? See, I thought that if he would have gotten himself captured, the Kira, like, fan club would have came and maybe yeah. tried to, like, save him, get yeah. him out, do something crazy. But having Ryuk... I don't think that would have happened now because yeah. he was like, "You can't spend your time in a cell." Yeah, I'm not gonna it's, wait. It's, it's too boring, you know. Yeah. So you killed him. I mean, there's just a lot of like. I guess I imagine things. like a cover up or something to spare because they care about that family. Like they, they care about Yagami's family. Sure. I mean, do they just say we capture Kira. Kira's dead because even that's gonna create. And your chaos. son died in line of battle, just yeah. something like that. Like they could say Mikimi was the killer. Yeah. Who doesn't really have any attachments to anything from what we know of? Sure. Uh, know of him anyway. And then Light doesn't have that. When the Yagami name, light, yeah, light died but apprehending a help you. If apprehending. they're all police officers, that's probably not what they'll do. They'll probably mm-hmm. just, yeah. I don't know. It depends on who they care about with Yagami and his the officer. And kind of want like you know how we got that. We have a, almost an entire epilogue episode of Full Metal. I kind of want that with Death Note just to, to just see to, a, little, a couple more yeah. things. You know. Yeah. Now I, I believe that there was a OVA like thing for this called uh, the funeral of L. Because after, like, L was gone, people uh, there was a lot of requests for us to do, like, you guys should do the funeral of L or something like that. But uh, some people were saying don't do it until afterwards. Okay. So, um, but, you know, we, we might jump onto it, we might not. Um, you know, maybe in the future when we have a little bit of extra time, maybe we can jump onto something like that. We, we had a couple of things with Full Metal we could do, too. Mm. But uh, uh, the music. I love the music in this show. Yeah. I love the chant. I love when it's like, El, you know, Flight was start doing something and you'd hear just these chanting monks. Oh. It felt like Halo. Yeah, it did sound like Halo, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Righty then. Uh, and, uh, the music was good. That uh, opening. The animation was unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, I was going to say, that opening, like, the second one, when I first heard it, I remember being like this. I, I, I remember. Like I remember sucked. all of our faces were like, ugh. I don't I like this at all. One. The first one yeah. was like, Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I can see. But now we're like, we're like, oh, fuck it. I'm saying it. I think part of it is because we, we. I know. Yeah. We like, made it better than I legitimately lyrics. enjoyed it every time since we started doing yeah, it. Yeah, that was a little sad. Like, this is the last one. The last walk one, out, man. baby. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, that was the end of Death Note. Uh, I think we should we, we should do that funeral of Elf thing. Yeah, we yeah. Um, because we have E three coming up, so uh, we gotta do a poll to replace this. And so we'll just do the uh, funeral of Elf next week, and then the poll will replace the week after. Okay, these come out on Tuesdays. So make sure you guys are going over to Patreon where you can find what's going to be in the poll. And uh, us four have decided what's going to be on there. Mm. Rick is trying to push some. I don't know what it is, but it's got some uh, we got some good choices. You guys can just... You right? Yeah, my arm. Hey. hey. I knew a fucking heart attack was going to do. Jeez.
didn't you tell me? I've already seen that show. Show me something I haven't seen. <laughs> Berserk. 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 Berserk! What? <laughs>